Right oh, well this is the Ubuntu 20.04 beta and we're going to be having a quick look at it right now on Linux Lounge. Yep indeed this here is the Ubuntu 20.04 beta. Now this isn't going to be a review per se since this is still in fairly early days beta. However it's kind of going to be more of a first impressions type thing. And so far my first impressions have been very good. Now I must admit it's been a while since I've used Ubuntu so a lot of this is very new to me. <clears throat> However from what I've seen it's really nice and I think the last time I used Ubuntu was when um, Canonical moved to the GNOME desktop and I must say since then I th you know, it looks fantastic and clearly there's been a lot of work done. So my first impressions would be, after all this time of having not used Ubuntu out of the box, this desktop looks absolutely amazing, like really, really nice. In fact, it rivals many other distributions, and given the fact I've, you know, in my opinion, Ubuntu has historically always been quite polished, this is seriously impressive. But um, let's continue on with what's new in Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So I have here... Um, to let you know some of the things that are new, this news article, 925 Linux. Um, and of course, I think the biggest change that kind of, you know, that the end user will notice in Ubuntu 20.04 is GNOME 3.36, um, which I now have that on my uh, Solus OS desktop. And I must say, absolutely fantastic update to GNOME. The main thing that I notice is absolutely massive performance improvements. Like it's really great, and um, in theory, you should see that uh, when you switch to Ubuntu 20.04 or upgrade rather. Um, which is always nice to see the new versions of software included in Ubuntu, um, as well as that in uh, Ubuntu 20.04, rather in GNOME uh, 3.36, you get. Uh, lots of nice little, like, nice little improvements around the UI, which is always nice. And as you can see, it looks really nice. You get a do not disturb option, which is absolutely fantastic if you're being constantly bombarded with notifications. And um, you also get a new lock screen. And I must say, it looks very nice. Uh, so continuing on in the article, you get a new graphical boot scratch that integrates uh, with the system BIOS logo, which I have seen that when uh, powering up in the virtual machine, and it looks very nice. And you get Linux kernel 5.4 LTS, which I think might actually be the newest long-term support version of the Linux kernel, so absolutely fantastic. Uh, so of course with that you're going to get like, you know, support for newer hardware and such, although it's still not going to be on par with a rolling release distribution, for example. Um, as well as that, and unfortunately I can't show you this, um, but I can tell you what it will do, which is fantastic. You get the Snap Store App Manager instead of the Ubuntu Software Center, which... Um, as you see, it just crashes when I try to open it, but that's to be expected with beta software. Uh, however, what this will let you do is uh, get access to a very wide variety of uh, apps on Ubuntu. So, um, you know, for, say for example, you want your Spotify, you can just go into the store, install the snap of it, job done. Which um, really helps Ubuntu catch up to the likes of Arch, for example, with the AUR, which is always nice. Um, as well as that, you get improved ZFS support, which, of course, the file system. Um, and a lot of what's new in Ubuntu 20.04 is going to be sort of more under-the-hood changes. Um, you know, you've got your updates to Python, Bluesy, GNU, Library, Pulse Audio, all that sort of stuff. Um, also, good news for gamers, you'll get the newest version of Mesa, which is always nice. Also, interestingly, the live CD of Ubuntu 20.04 and Ubuntu for a while, I think, actually comes with the NVIDIA drivers by default. Which, they're going to be kind of older versions, but they do work from what I've heard. Um, as well as the uh, that, you of course get the new Ubuntu 20.04 repositories, which have fantastically up-to-date programs, if I'm to be quite honest. Um, 
which one of my complaints uh, has kind of been that uh, Ubuntu tends to have more out-of-date software, uh, which of course I'm sure will eventually be the case with this long-term support release, but right now it's you know pretty up-to-date software, which is always nice. Uh, also, you get out-of-the-box support for the newest Raspberry Pi, as well as improved support for previous Raspberry Pi models, so if you have a Raspberry Pi, this might be a good choice for you. And of course there's a lot of updates for the server and that's pretty much about all this article covers. And also of course, uh, as is tradition, here's the new uh, Ubuntu wallpaper. It's very nice. And there's a few others too. Particularly fond of that one I must say. Um, so that's always nice. And uh, as well as that, of course, Ubuntu in itself is a very usable desktop operating system. And a few years ago, I wouldn't have agreed when people say, you know, put new users on this for sure. But do you know what? Now I kind of do. You get a nice selection of software. It's not overly bloated. You've got like quite a convenient little settings manager here. And one of my personal favorite features, um, if I can go ahead and find it, appearance you can very easily change the system theme between light, standard, and dark. And this kind of reminds me of what you get with uh, Mac OS. You can also, also hide the dark, or uh, at least in theory. You can move the dark wherever you want on screen, and I must say that looks very nice having it along the bottom there. Um, yeah, that'll automatically hide it. Um, so as I say, all in all, Ubuntu 20.04 uh, long-term support release, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good release for Ubuntu, and I would have no issue putting this on a new user's computer and letting them run with it for a few years, because of course, with it being a long-term support release, you will get a few years of support with it, which is always nice. And to be honest, I might even try using this myself, it's that good, uh, from what I've seen anyway. Uh, but of course, don't use it right now, it's still in beta, as you've seen, the software center doesn't work, there's going to be other bugs like that. But all in all, this is shaping up to be a very good release, and I would highly recommend it. But I think that's it for today's video, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.